Hi, Lauren Crawford. We're here for another chat. Today I'd like to talk to you about the living tradition of yoga. Seeing yoga as a living tradition. And what does that mean? The first time I heard the term living tradition, I was a bit perplexed and at the same time enthralled because how can I be plugged into something that's a tradition that is ongoing, that I can plug into, engage in, and be a part of? Exciting. So what does it mean, a living tradition? It means that there are time-tested tools, techniques, and practices that have been shared through the millennia in this tradition of yoga that we can avail ourselves of today in these modern times. How cool is that? Many of us today are in situations where we're adrift, where we're feeling disconnected, alienated even, as we live in this global community, this shrinking global community, with all of these digital devices at our fingertips, where all of the world's information is readily available to us, and yet we're feeling a disconnection. We can draw upon the living tradition of yoga to address some of our needs. Effectively, many of us are hollowed out. We're feeling a drift of purpose, a drift of meaning. And yes, the market will step in to give us services and products to make us feel purposeful and meaningful. And some of those products are yoga, are yoga related for sure. But when yoga becomes something we consume, something that we purchase to meet an immediate need or desire, then it's disconnected, it's divorced, it's severed from its meaning, its purpose, it's severed from the tradition. So how can we honor the tradition? How can we plug into yoga and keep it connected to its roots and make it a part of our lives? How can we reap the benefits of yoga without being a consumer of yoga? I'm gonna propose a few things that I think will be helpful in this regard. Another list, a list of four. The first one is inquiry. So it's really important as you're doing this work to be inquisitive, to be a seeker, to get into that mode, that mentality of wanting to know more, to want to explore what is this tradition that goes back thousands of years? And based on what I see out there, what is missing? And start to explore in your own amazing way those gaps, filling in those gaps from a place of inquiry. So the next thing is study. How are you going to fill in some of those gaps? You're going to have to learn. So what I would recommend is that you attend some lectures, attend some workshops, take some courses, do the study, buy some books, ask someone for guidance and reference, myself, for example, on where do I begin? If I want to understand this tradition more, what should I be reading? And what version of that text should I read? So you're going to find different materials resonate at different times in your life. And that's really, really good. This is a vast terrain of study. You can study the tradition of yoga for a lifetime and still be learning. That is exciting. There's so much here to uh, embark upon in this journey of plugging in, being a part of the living tradition. The next thing is sort of an adjunct to study and it's self-study. We see and we learn this word concept svadhyaya in the Yoga Sutras and other texts. Svadhyaya is often thought of as study, and, and many times uh, we're told the, the pursuit of study vis-a-vis -vis the text or scriptures of the tradition. But it can also be self-study. So watching, observing yourself in your journey through yoga. So in practice, what is going on on a physical level? What is going on on an energetic level? What is going on on a mental level? How are you responding emotionally to this journey you're on? How are things shifting on these more subtle levels? How is your energy changing on a day-to-day -day basis? Are you being kinder to yourself and to others? 
How are you responding to humanity? If you're not seeing any changes in your life with regard to any of these, then maybe your practice or your way of practicing needs to be reassessed. Next, I'd suggest finding teachers who inspire you. There are lots of really cool and groovy teachers out there, but what I would like you to think about is a, finding a teacher or teachers who embody what you think yoga is. You know, so you can go on Instagram, you can go on Facebook, and you can find all sorts of teachers who are teaching a, a whole bunch of interesting physical stuff and even some kind of groovy spiritual stuff. But finding teachers who you know are the real deal, who are teaching from an authentic place of embodiment, who do the necessary work to be your guide, that's what I recommend. So finding those teachers who show and present yoga to you in a way that makes sense. And lastly on the list, community. So plugging into like-minded folks, folks who are on a similar journey so that you don't need to feel that you need to explain what and who you are and what you're trying to achieve. Folks who will uplift you, folk, folks who will affirm you in your journey, folks who will challenge you at times, and ultimately folks who will love you unconditionally. So community is essential, sangha building a sense of belonging on that level can be very, very affirming and is part of this living tradition. You are not alone in doing this amazing work, this work of finding your true, true, true nature. These teachings are effectively systematic. So a tradition, a living tradition that has time-tested tools, techniques, and practices is about science. There is a science and a rigor to all of this. The sages did the beautiful work for us many, many years ago, the work that we get to benefit from here and today. But you also get to do this work and see how it impacts and changes you, as I mentioned previously. Remember, yoga theory, absent practice, is simply intellectual fodder. Yoga practice, absent theory, is simply exercise. So we need to marry the two. We need to have that theoretical, philosophical underpinning to really understand yoga in a fulsome way. It's really clear that the proof of this living tradition is in the practice, is in the doing. Yoga is necessarily experiential. So I welcome you to plug in, to really embrace this idea of a living tradition, a living tradition which you are a part of. And if you need any guidance, then reach out. Continue to follow me in these shares. Continue to plug into some of my offerings. Continue to join us in this community that we're building together. Be well. Take care.